Today we're tying a suspended minge. We'll begin by wrapping the thread around the shank of the hook from the eye. Trimming off excess about halfway down. And we want to bring our thread down the shank so that it's even with the barb. This particular hook has a natural curve all the way down and it's difficult to see where that begins. We're going to use goose by it for the body. When we're working with goose by it, we'll want to tie it on the correct way. If you see a slight notch on the top, that notch needs to be away from you. If you are tying these and you see a ridge form, you've got to take it off and turn it the other direction. We'll secure the by it to the shank and then bring our thread about three quarters of the way up the shank. Using hackle pliers, we'll grab the by it and we'll begin to wrap this up the shank of the hook. You'll see a beautiful rib form, which is perfect to imitate a midge body. You don't have a lot of room to work with on the by it. Bring it up, tie it off, and then trim off excess. CDC. I have to cut that one. We're going to use two CDC feathers off a of goose. Line them up. This is going to form our overwing. It really is designed to suspend the fly right into the film. We want it to be at least the length of the shank or the length of the body. Curvature facing up, perhaps. And then we'll secure that, those fibers, those feathers to the shank, extend out forward, trimming off excess. And then wrapping down to form a black thorax to the fly. A couple wraps in front and front to help support the CDC. And then it would finish. The suspended mid.